I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. Mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Or we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. So tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there? No one else? Mother occasionally had company. What? Company? Do I even want to ask? No, you really don't. So, I take it you did not enjoy your Templar training? That's directed at me, I take it. Do you see any others about who have failed at their religious instruction? I didn't fail. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. And if you had not been recruited, what would have happened instead? I would have turned into a drooling lunatic, slaughtered the Grand Cleric and run through the streets of Denerim in my small clothes, I guess. Your self-awareness does you credit. I thought you'd like that. All right, I've come up with one. A question that you can't answer. Are you talking to me? That's right. You think you're so smart. I've got an academic question that I bet you won't be able to answer. Oh, I doubt that. So tell me then, what was the name of Andraste's husband? This is a religious question, not an academic one. You're joking, right? A five-year-old could answer that question. Do you not know more than a child? I care nothing for your religion. And this game of yours is over. Oh, how the mighty have crumbled. So tell me, was the Tower of Magi everything you thought it would be? Abominations running rampant, Templars ready to slaughter every mage in sight. Yes, it rather met all my expectations. You don't think you might have been better off getting your training there, instead of whatever your mother taught you? You're right. My mother didn't nearly have as many abominations running about. That certainly would have improved my education. Hmm. I'll give you that one. I'm so relieved. There is one thing I do not understand, Alistair. Just the one thing? About you, perhaps. Why the deception over your parentage? I'd figure you'd be the sort who knows all about deception. I do. And what use the deception might have had ended when King Caelan perished, did it not? Maybe. I guess I was sort of hoping that would go away. The truth does not go away. I didn't say it was a good plan. We seem to be going quite out of our way to revive this Arl Eamon. We need his help. 
What choice do we have? Surely there must be another option than searching out a holy relic, the existence of which is not even certain. This is a rather thin hope to hang our success upon. Our Lehman didn't seem to think so. This is the same man who lacked even moderate awareness of anything that occurred within his own castle. You don't know anything about him, so don't judge him. I think it's our best hope. To succeed against the Darkspawn, or save your ailing father figure? Enough! Just drop it. I do wonder, is it permissible for two Grey Wardens to... Oh, what is the word I search for? Caboodle? Fraternize. What's wrong with fraternizing? It seems most undisciplined for an organization that claims it will do whatever is necessary to end the Darkspawn threat. One thing has nothing to do with the other. Oh no? And what if a Grey Warden was forced to choose between the Warden he loved and ending the Blight? What should his choice be? That is a, a ridiculous question. And I have my answer. Most kind of you. So, you met this sibling of yours? Half-sister, but yes. And she turned out to be an insufferable hag? You'd have liked her. You two have a lot in common. And you gave the woman money? Uh, yes. Why would you do such a thing? This woman is a parasite who will appreciate nothing you do. You know this. It's moments like this when I truly appreciate the difference between you and me. <laughs> It's moments like this when I truly wonder at the difference between you and a toadstool. Why do you always go on about how stupid I am? I'm not stupid, am I? If you need to ask the question... Because it hurts my manly feelings, you know. Or one of them. Then I'll be sure to write you an apology once all of this is over. I was educated by the Chantry. I studied history. They don't make stupid Templars. Then I must have been mistaken. I'm very impressed. No, you're not. You're not even listening to me. My, you are smarter than you look after all. Your Chantry must have been very proud. Have a care where your eyes linger, Alistair. Yes, well, don't worry. It's not what you think. I see. I was looking at your nose. And what is it about my nose that captivates you so? I was just thinking that it looks exactly like your mother's. I hate you so much. Hmm? What? Never mind. You do not truly think I look as my mother does, do you? Have you really been thinking about that all this time? I am simply curious. And not insecure in the slightest, I'm sure. I think I look nothing like her. I don't know. Give it a few hundred years and it'll be a spot-on match. I said that I look nothing like her. All right, got it. <laughs> totally different. I see that now. So what's the deal with you and him, anyway? Dare I ask? Him? Him who? Is this supposed to mean something to me? You know exactly who I'm talking about, Mr. Let's Make Kissy Faces over there. My, my. You are jealous, aren't you? Did I take your favorite Grey Warden away from you? What? I'm not jealous. I'm horrified. Those blushing cheeks of yours tell a different tale. 
These blushing cheeks are terrified that you'll suck all the blood out of them once you're finished with them. If I feel the need to suck on anything of yours, Alistair, you'll be the first to know. That was so not what I meant. Perhaps we should go and tell him together about your touching concerns. Perhaps he'll pay more attention to you if you ask nicely. Uh-huh. I think we're done here. Done before you started, in fact. So, am I to understand that you two have ended your relationship? Shut up. That is none of your business. What? No questions allowed? You do not wish your motivations? I said shut up. I will run this sword through you. I'm not joking. Ooh, I see. Most serious, then. This discussion is over. So, you've heard, I hope, how I'm going to be king, with a crown and everything. Proud of yourself, are you? Well, they don't let just anyone be king, you know. They don't let evil forest witches be king, for instance. There was a Ferelden king once who drooled on himself in such volume that he required a constant attendant to wipe his chin in court. You're making that up. Not at all. The kings of old would be pleased to see that their bloodline has not strayed very far from its roots. <laughs>